Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back! Today, we're diving into ERPS network over fiber, the superhero of redundancy. So have you ever had a single cable failure take down your entire security system? Yeah, we've all been there. So let's fix that with ring topology and self-healing networks. So buckle up! So first, let's talk about the star topology. Let's say this is a security camera system, and you've got a central switch right here. And all of your perimeter's buildings are connected directly to the switch, so we have cameras all over the buildings. It's simple, sure, but here's the problem. If that central switch dies, that means everything goes dark. Or, one of the connections fiber get cuts, that means you're not able to see the buildings. Plus, running individual fiber to each building, that's expensive, messy, and a single point of failure. So it's not ideal for parking lots, factory, or campus setup. So maybe another solution. So here enter the daisy chain. Now daisy chain is also very simple. Instead of running cables back to a central hub, you can add building A to B to C and so on. And it means fewer cables and lower costs. But here's the catch. If the link between C and D gets cut, that means everything downstream of D and E are going to lost connection. So it's like a Christmas light string. One bulb goes down and half of the lights die. Not exactly mission critical. So how do we fix this? Let's meet ERPS, Ethernet Ring Protection Switching. So think of it as a self-healing fiber ring. If one link fails, traffic reroutes in milliseconds. No downtime, no panic. But to make this happen, you need switches that support ERPS. Well, like our industrial switches here with a fast ring button. And our industrial switches even have a fast ring button. That means all you need to do is press it and ERPS configs itself. And boom, it's done. And now let's build the ERPS ring together. So behind me, we have four industrial switches formed in a ring, and let's pretend they're in different location. First, we are going to connect switch A to our NVR using a short patch cord. Plug it in one of the RJ45 port. Now on our switch, here's the fast ring button. I already switch it to on. Make sure you switch it to on on every switch. Then I'm going to use an SFP transceiver. Remember, plug it into the last SFP port using a fiber patch cord. We are going to connect switch A directly to switch B. The SFP transceiver already in, and it's on last two SFP port, and the switch is on. This one is ready. Coming to switch C, it's already connected. And on a switch C, we have a bullet camera already connected using power over Ethernet. So we can send both power and data. And switch C is going to connect to switch D. And on switch D, we also have another bullet camera using power over Ethernet. And everything is on. Now, final step, we are going to connect switch D back to switch A using a fiber patch cord. So now it is going to form a ring. This is a closed loop. The SFP transceiver, the fiber patch cord. So now our ERPS is ready. It's going to reroute traffic the other way instantly if something happened. So it's like a detour for your data. And now it's time for the moment of truth. So let's simulate a fiber cut. I'm going to pull a cable, let's say from switch D to switch A. And let's look at the monitor. See, nothing happens because the traffic immediately flip the other way around. So no buffering, no drop footage, and your security cameras 
still rolling. So ERPS just saved the day. So why does this matter? Zero downtime, automatic failover, and scalability. And if you add a fifth building, easy, just plug it into the ring. No redesign, no headache. And remember, your existing fiber cables work fine. ERPS is all about the switches, not the wires. And the pro tips here is not all the switches are ERPS ready, so you need to check the specs. And our industrial switches, they're built for it. You can hit the fast ring button and the switches handle the rest. No PhD in networking required. Just set it and forget it. Now, if you're ready to ditch downtime, you can grab ERPS compatible switch and build that ring. So let your network heal itself. And hey, if you're still daisy chaining, rebuild the system. Your future self will thank you. And feel free to comment below if you want to deep dive on any other tech problems. Thank you very much for tuning in. Until next time, keep those signals spinning.